What is the average time to run a 5K? 45 to 60 minutes Many runners complete a 5K in 30 to 40 minutes, and many runners are satisfied with their time if it's around this benchmark. The average walker finishes a 5K in 45 to 60 minutes. How long is a 5K run in miles? 3.1 miles A 5K run is 3.1 miles. Don't be daunted by the distance. A 5K run is a great distance for a beginner. You can prepare for a 5K run in just two months. Is 5K in 25 minutes good? So the answer is you are faster than 90.9% .9 of runners. 25 minutes for 5K is pretty good for a male runner but very good for a female. But for daily running anything faster than 6 minutes per kilometer is good. Dot dot dot. Some people will of course run it faster but most will not. Can I run a 5K if I never run? Some people have enough aerobic endurance to run or jog that distance without any training. However, if you don't participate in any cardiovascular activity, the prolonged effort might be a struggle. Dot dot dot. Beginners may be able to complete 5K race in under 30 minutes, or closer to 40 minutes at a slower running pace. What's a good 5K time for a beginner? As a good rule of thumb, though, a sub 30 minute 5K for a complete beginner or older runner is probably good, while a sub 25 minute 5K is decent for someone who is younger and is more active and or has run at some point in their life. Can I run 5K every day? Running a 5K every day can be a great way to improve your cardiovascular health, strengthen and maintain your muscles and keep yourself sane while you're stuck at home, as long as you're not brand new to running. Plus, when paired with a healthy diet, it may even help you lose weight. Will I lose weight running 5K a day? Running 5K every day will result in a high number of calories burned per week. If a 160-pound person burns about 394 calories every 5K run and runs 7 days per week, they'll burn a total of 2,758 calories every week. This means they'll reach 3,500 calories and thus lose a pound of fat every 9 days. Will running 5K 3 times a week lose weight? Before you ask, yes running 5K 3 times a week could help you lose a few extra pounds. However, the trick is to do it smartly. For novices, a low-intensity run is proven to burn more fat and calories than a vigorous exercise. In doing so, you will be torching tons of calories as well. Is running 5K a day too much? Although you are increasing muscle density through repeated use, but running a 5K every day can cause tiny micro-fractures in the honeycomb structures of the bone. When these become too severe, we get shin splints, which is why it is important to stretch before a run and to build up your endurance in running gradually. How many calories do you burn running 5K in 30 minutes? Plus, it's a solid way to torch calories, a 68-kilogram woman running 5 kilometers in 30 minutes that's a 10-minute 1.5 kilometers pace will burn roughly 340 calories. That's 113 calories per mile, not bad. How many calories do you burn walking 5K? 5 kilometers. For most people a 5 kilometers walk will be 210 to 360 calories. Walking 5 kilometers, 5 days of the week will burn 1,050 to 1,800 calories. With no change in diet you would lose one-third of a pound, 0.15 kilograms, to one-half of a pound, 0.22 kilograms, of fat per week. Should I run every day? Should I run every day? Running every day may have some health benefits. Studies show that running just 5 to 10 minutes each day at a moderate pace may help reduce your risk of death from heart attacks, strokes, and other common diseases. Is it bad to take walk breaks while running? Walk breaks reduce heart rate, preventing new runners from working too hard on what should otherwise be an easy run. It allows beginners to finish longer distances than they could with just running alone. The psychology of a walk break allows beginners to easily tackle longer runs from a mental perspective. How should a beginner run a 5K? You can start your aerobic base building by doing a run-walk plan, like the successful couch to 5K plan. A good first week of running is 20 to 30 minutes total of jogging running walking three times a week. Be sure to space your training days throughout the week to give yourself a chance to recover and rest. How do you breathe when running? 
Inhale and exhale through both your nose and mouth. The best way to breathe while running is to inhale and exhale using both your nose and mouth combined. Breathing through both the mouth and the nose will keep your breathing steady and engage your diaphragm for maximum oxygen intake. How to run for 30 minutes without stopping pace yourself. The key to running 30 minutes without stopping is to pace yourself. Dot dot dot. Run walk method. Dot dot dot. Distract yourself. Dot dot dot. Wear the right clothing. Dot dot dot. Eat before you run. Dot dot dot. Run somewhere you enjoy. Dot dot dot. Don't forget to stretch. Dot dot dot. Create a routine. Running a 5K is a fairly achievable feat that's ideal for people who are just getting into running or who simply want to run a more manageable distance. Even if you've never run a 5K race, you can probably get in shape within a few months by dedicating yourself to the right training program. If you run a 5K, you should be happy with yourself no matter the results, but it's natural to want to know if your time is above or below average. Factors such as age, sex, and fitness level can influence your 5K time. Many runners complete a 5K in 30 to 40 minutes, and many runners are satisfied with their time if it's around this benchmark. The average walker finishes a 5K in 45 to 60 minutes. If you run a mile about every 8 minutes, you can count on your 5K time being under or around 25 minutes. However, this isn't easily achievable for many people, so beginners should aim to run a mile in about 9 to 13 minutes. Set up a fitness plan that builds up over a few weeks or months. Balance out your running routine with low-impact exercises such as swimming, cycling, and elliptical training. Everyday runners can aim to complete a mile in about 9 to 12 minutes. This means you'll finish a 5K in about 28 to 37 minutes. Walkers can expect to complete a mile in about 15 to 20 minutes. Walking at a brisk pace should enable you to finish a 5K at around the hour mark. Tips to get faster to get fit and improve running speed, focus on building up gradually over a few weeks or months. You may also want to consider a few more tips to improve your time, including Make healthy lifestyle choices, such as eating a healthy diet and getting plenty of quality sleep. Always warm up for at least 10 to 15 minutes before starting a running workout, and finish with a cooldown. Improve your endurance and speed by doing interval training and switching it up to run on a treadmill, uneven terrain, and hills. Balance out your running routine with strength training, and include plenty of stretches to keep your body loose and flexible. To build speed, work on increasing your endurance and muscle mass. Vary your workouts between moderate and high-intensity workouts, and include other forms of endurance exercise, such as biking, volleyball, or swimming. Try yoga, tai chi, or dancing at least once a week to get your body moving in different ways. Always allow for at least one full day of rest each week. If you're new to running, begin with 20 to 30 minute sessions, and slowly increase the duration as you get more fit. You can improve your coordination and balance with the following form drills, walking and running high knees bounding, or running with an exaggerated motion straight leg bounding butt kicks skipping and hopping drills controlled sprints inseam pulls. Running a 5k is a great way to challenge yourself if you're already a runner, or to set a goal for yourself if you're starting to run for the first time. Pace yourself as you build your speed, endurance, and strength, but also be sure to challenge yourself along the way. Have fun with it, and use your progress as motivation for meeting your personal best.